In the summer, I feel we all crave something a little bit different. The weather is so sunny and wonderful. Well, I hope it is wherever you are. But at least you're probably outside having picnics. And you know what? You crave cookies that are the exact same way. Something a little bit different that works perfect at a picnic or wherever you're going. And these chocolate macadamia nut cookies are exactly what you want. These are all the delicious flavors in those macadamia nut bars, but they are a cookie and they're my absolute favorite macadamia cookie. Okay, I don't really know a lot of macadamia nut cookies, but these are my favorite. These cookies take toasted coconut and it is best just to get that out of the way in the beginning. So just place the coconut right on a baking sheet, kind of in an even layer. You don't want it really stacked up or it won't toast evenly and put it right into your preheated oven. Shake it a few times while it's baking just to ensure that it's evenly toasting and then take it right out. And abstain from eating it all. Okay, maybe you're not like me, but toasted coconut is a so good to snack on. But try to leave it for the cookies. I know this process gets a little bit monotonous, but all cookies usually start the same way. Some room temperature butter, some brown sugar, and white sugar. I just like to mix those together until they're very well incorporated, light and fluffy. That means at least three to four minutes in a stand mixer, which is usually longer than a lot of people do. But that's gonna start dissolving that sugar and it's really gonna add a lot of air to the cookies. Next, add your egg. I like to crack it into a separate bowl just to make sure none of that shell gets in because no matter how many eggs you crack, I seem to always get some shell in mine. Add some vanilla and mix that up. For the dry ingredients, I just put them right into the bowl. Add the flour, baking powder, baking soda, and salt right to the bowl. Let that mix until it's combined, and then you add all the delicious extras in. The extras are really what make this cookie absolutely delicious. White chocolate chips, that wonderful toasted coconut, and macadamia nuts. I like to hand chop my macadamias. You don't have to, you can do it in a food processor, but honestly, it's a small amount, and I really like the rough texture they give. Some bigger pieces and some smaller ones, and it goes really quick. Once they're chopped up, just throw those in, turn the mixture on for a little bit more, and then clean off that beater and you can start scooping your cookies. Put them right onto a parchment lined baking sheet. I like to use a cookie scoop. It gives you the most uniform cookies. And then bake them right in your preheated oven. After a few minutes, the edges are gonna be crispy, just slightly golden, and they're gonna be slightly puffed. Bring them out, and as they cool on that pan, they are gonna just fall into that perfect looking cookie. The center will be just a little more soft, but the edge is crispy. Guys, seriously, I cannot tell you how good these cookies are. Take them off the pan after they're cooled, and then finish cooling completely on a cooling rack, and then enjoy. You can freeze them for your next picnic or just eat them because you are going to want to. These are exactly what I crave in the summer and I can't wait for you to try them. If you agree, make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Great Boxer channel. And I love to see you guys share this around on Facebook and Instagram and hear how you're using these recipes. Can't wait to share more with you.